Okay, I think I'm live now. This is a first for me, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on and if I am here. So if you're seeing this, give me a little shout out to let me know. I'm gonna hop over to the Facebook group and see that it's streaming there just to make sure. This is the first time I'm trying to simultaneously broadcast to both my Facebook group and my YouTube channel. Okay, I do see it over in the Facebook group, so that's good. Um, and let me just check YouTube as well. And looks like I'm there as well. So there's not, I don't expect there to be a ton of you here because this was last minute, right? And um, I just wanted to try this. So I was fine with not announcing it for my first time trying it. And um, yeah, so we'll, we'll just, we'll see how it goes, but um, hoping that this goes well. Okay. So in, I'm, I'm watching this in my little video app thing and it doesn't let me see if you're on Facebook it doesn't let me see who you are it just says Facebook user and so um we'll see how that goes Helen thank you for joining us new to my channel all right so I am just going to go ahead and I'm standing up right now but I'm going to sit down <laughs> and get started now that I figured out that we're here so if at any point you have a question or um, you can't hear me or something like that, just shout out and let me know. Um, I can see all the comments, even though, like I said, the Facebook ones, I can't see who it's commenting, who it is. So um, yeah, there's that. But here's what we're gonna do today. So I wanted to do a use it or lose it. I haven't posted on my YouTube channel in a little while. And if you're wondering, um, I just start, I started a year ago, I started a new full-time job working outside of my home. Um, before that, I was working for myself at my house. And so I had a lot more time on my hands. So I have less time. So that's the reason why I haven't posted a lot. And I'm still trying to find that groove. Hey, everyone. I'm so happy. <laughs> people are here. Denise, thank you for saying that. <laughs> okay. So um, anyway, that being said, this was a way that I thought I could just take a few hours and not have to edit the video after and, and just do this live thing right now while I um, get some videos filmed and edited. But I thought I would just do this because I felt like doing it tonight. My husband is hanging out with his brother all night. And um, so I'm just chilling and I thought I would do this. So here's what we're gonna do. If you wanna play along, go ahead. Um, grab like some food and <laughs> some drink and take a seat, get settle in because we're gonna make a scrapbook layout. I am calling this the grab and go challenge because what I want you to do for this use it or lose it is I want you to grab a few things and we're gonna go kind of like um if you have watched Adele Toomey's videos at all she does like a grab five she's inky quill um where you grab five products and use them on a layout so we're kind of doing something similar um thanks Jill for saying I'm uh for being glad I'm back <laughs> I'm glad too um anyway so I want to show you the things that I grabbed I think it's always important when you're grabbing things to create a layout and you're trying to like use up some older product that you always include something that is newer so that you're excited about it and so let me show you what i've pulled here so first of all i have just this little baggie of random bits and pieces some of these are ali edwards and some of them i think are from really old studio calico kits these were in my use it or lose it box um which I have showed before, um, but it's just a little box of stuff that I have that I wanna get used up. So I'm pulling these out. If I don't use some of these today, I'm getting rid of them because I've had them for so long. They're just sitting here 
and um, yeah, so we'll see. The other thing that I have, and I don't expect to use this whole thing, but I forget sometimes, sometimes we put things away and we don't know, like we put them away and we forget about them. I have a lot of stuff on my desk. If you could see around me, there's like little, there's stuff on my desk because out of sight, out of mind for me. Um, so I pulled this out of my drawer because I just, I haven't pulled it out in a long time. So we'll um, explore the goodies that are inside here. There's lots of kind of die cuts and um, different shapes, wood shapes and things like that from Allie Edwards. And um, I also have these stickers from Heidi Swap. These are some like word stickers and then photo corner stickers. So I'm going to see if any of those work today. Um, I also pulled one of my new stamp sets. This one is my prototype stamp set, so it doesn't have the, the packaging. Um, but this is called On My Heart. Uh, it's in my shop. There, I still have some of these left, so if you want to head over there, you can. It's um, just head to classes.craftygenscow.com. You can get there from there. Um, so I'm going to use those stamps. These are some old, if anyone has these, uh, let me know. I love these freckled fawn cameras. They are so cute and I've had them for a long time. I've used a bunch of them, but I want to use some more of them. So, and it, and it has to do with the subject kind of that I want to scrap tonight. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I also have these Felicity Jane fabric flags and if I don't use these tonight, I've got to get rid of them. I've had them forever. I don't expect to use them all because they're not going to match everything exactly, I don't think. Um, but we'll see what happens with those. So um, there we go. And then, okay, those are the those are the older things. These are some things in my stash that are just sitting there and I'm not using them. This is new, but um, that, I'm, that I'm not using. These are things that I need to, to use it or lose it, right? So um, if you're playing along, go get some stuff that you want to use in your stash. It can be whatever you want. They don't even have to coordinate. I find that when you have a, like, a pack of stickers like this, even if you find one or two to use, it feels like you accomplished something if you pull it out, right? So um, the other thing that I pulled out that's newer is I have some of the new Vicki Booten color study uh, collection, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, Vicki, I think, played with some of this on her video the other day. Um, this is the back of it, but I'm really, I'm, I'm here for this, right? I love this side of the paper. Um, I'm probably going to cut this up. So we'll see about that. I haven't seen any comments in a little bit. Will you guys just comment to let me know that it's still working? Because like I said, this is my first time using this platform. So I, I just want to make sure it's still working. Um, the other thing that I have new is Obed Marshall. He's a new designer for um, American Crafts. He's from Spain and his, his first collection is called Buenos Dias. And I love the stencils in this collection. They are absolutely gorgeous. So I have a floral here. There is a grid. Oh, good. Someone said hello. <laughs> and there is this kind of pretty tile um, pattern. So anyway, I love these. So I'm thinking about using those. And then um, I have some Vicky Booten Color Study uh, stickers here again goes with the theme that I want to scrap and then the other new thing that I have is um, the newest distress ink color from Ranger and from Tim Holtz is Kitsch Flamingo and I am glad to use this tonight like I haven't I have I got this weeks ago and I haven't even tested it out really so um, I'm excited to use that um so let me tell you about what I want to scrap tonight I love taking these um, these kind of flat lay photos that are color kind of color coordinated. If you're commenting on Facebook, will you tell me who you are <laughs> so that I know? I think that there is um, something that you can do in the Facebook group that's like that you allow um, 
I think it's called StreamYard that you allow that app to see your profile so that it will show me your name. Um, so I think Fatima or Fatima, <laughs> you have done that um, because I can see your name, but um, anyone else on Facebook, I cannot. So in case, if you wanna be anonymous, cool. I can go look on Facebook later, but I just can't see your name right now. Anyway, so I have three of these photos. This one is printed on vellum, which I don't think I'm going to use this one tonight. Um, this is a picture of my daughter's rock collection, and we color coordinated it one day and took a flat lay photo. Um, this is a flat lay photo of some flowers from various bouquets that people sent me when my dad died, and I wanted to take a photo of that because I didn't get a photo of the flowers when they were nice and pretty and in full, full bloom. And then this is a photo of a bunch of resin jewelry pieces. I took um, these pieces over to my sister's the other day to make some jewelry. And my daughter and nephews went to town putting these in color order and it made my heart very happy. Oh, okay, hi, hi Dorothy, thanks for putting your name. <laughs> um, anyway, so those are the things that I, I, I haven't decided which one yet but I, I really like the idea of doing this. And I also really like the idea of it somehow um, coordinating with this background. So I really like the way that this one, like the blue is up here and the pink is down here and that's how, it, how it's looking on the paper. Um, but I really like this one because it has a white background. So I'm, I'm still, a little bit on the fence, but I got to make a decision, right? Because here we go. So this this layout's going to be about the flat lay photos. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this photo. I printed this kind of weird, like I didn't have my printer guides aligned. And so there's like a little white space on the edge of this photo. So I'm just going to trim that down and put a white photo mat on it. Um, but those are the things that I'm going to use. So if you're playing along, grab some things that you can use and uh, Let's go to town making some stuff. Hi, Patty. Bowling Green, Ohio. I didn't know that was a place. I have been to Bowling Green, Kentucky, but not Ohio. <laughs> okay. So, trimmed. I'm going to grab some white cardstock. This is the cardstock that I usually use for card making. It's super thick, but we'll use it for this. I'm just going to cut this to a size that I know will work. So my photo is four by six. So I'm going to cut this to four and a quarter by six and a quarter. I absolutely love this um, trimmer. It's just really easy to use, but I don't love that it doesn't go. It goes to five and a quarter inches. So here's what I do to cheat um, when I'm cutting things longer than five inches. So I need to do six and a quarter, right? I have a little mark on here that marks five and a quarter. Linda, thank you so much. <laughs> five and a quarter. Um, so I'm gonna put my finger on four and a quarter and I'm gonna push this till I hit five and a quarter. And guess what? That's six and a quarter <laughs> because I'm too lazy to um, pull out my other trimmer. So let's make sure that that fits on there. I did trim a little off the sides, so it is slightly off. We'll just trim a little off the bottom because we're not going to lose any color that way. I, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go ahead and use this photo because I like the way that the colors kind of coordinate. Oh, Massachusetts. I have been to Boston in Massachusetts before. Okay, I'm going to just add a little bit of adhesive. So already my mind is kind of going, thinking about what I can do. I for sure know I want to use this paper. I don't know if I'm going to use it for a background or if I'm going to cut it up. Um, it could be fun as a background, but there were some other things I wanted to play with, like the stencils, and I don't want to make it too busy. Hmm. Okay, I think let's do this. I am going to take, do I want to do a grid on a grid? I think probably not. Hi, Betsy. 
San Diego, been there many times. I don't know why I feel like I need to tell you <laughs> if I've been to where you're from or not, but I am all, all the same. I think I'll go with flowers just because I think the grid on grid will not be my favorite thing. Hi, Eva or Ava. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to put this on here, but I'm gonna do it tone on tone. So I'll use the Kitsch Flamingo um, over the pink parts, but let me get a couple other colors that I can use for these other parts. And I'm going to not use the oxide inks. I'm gonna use the regular Distress ink. So I have my Distress inks in a drawer next to me. I'm just gonna look and see what I have that might work. Most of them are full size. Some of them are small. I have been to Nebraska, actually. I mean, I've been through Nebraska. <laughs> so I guess that's not exactly the same. Um, I don't think shaded lilac is the color that I want, but I'm going to pull it out just in case. Um, I don't think sapphire is the color I want either. But we'll see. Maybe milk lavender would be a good color for this middle one. Amy, hi, I miss you. <laughs> How's your foot? Okay, sorry for the noise. You can use any inks you want. You don't have to use distress inks, but they're just, um, I find really easy to use, so I like them. Um, I'm going to grab Dusty Con cord and let's try spiced marmalade for the orange I have not been to Scotland but I really really want to Helen really badly <laughs> it's on my bucket list okay I kind of feel like I need a, a bluey purple at the top maybe I can mix dusty concord with a little chip sapphire we'll try for that okay so let me grab my blending tool. So I keep my blending tool in a drawer with all of my different, I don't have like a different blending tool for each color and I don't have um, a different pad for each like individual color, but I try to stick to the color family and I try to keep oxides and, and um, regular distress inks separate from each other. So um, let's see. I think sometimes I'll just go onto a scrap piece of paper and kind of see, see that's not leaving any color. So I think that's probably fine for me to use with the Kitsch Flamingo. And let's see. Uh, okay, we'll use that with that. Some of the little ones I had I had the little pieces underneath them, but I don't anymore. Scottish Irish. <laughs> I have been to Toronto. I'm guessing it's Shell, not Jay. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Nope, we're good there. We'll use that for that. Purple. Oh, look, we got a purple. Great. That should be good. All right. So I'm going to start at the bottom with the spiced marmalade and let's see. I think I might just tack this down because I kind of don't want it to move. So here's another thing that I like to do when I'm pulling, when I'm pulling things for something like this, grab and go. I like to pull some things that are, they're not something I can use up but it's something that I can use, like these Distress inks, some sort of mixed media, or um, maybe it's embossing powder or whatever it might be. Something that I don't use often enough, because if I'm not using it, it doesn't need to take up space in this room. I can buy more stuff and put more different things I will use in here instead. Oh, thanks, Martina. Hello, Ontario. Okay. So we're just going to go in here. Like I said, I'm doing tone on tone because I don't want to take away from this background. I don't want it to be too busy. So you can get a little look-see 
of that there. So it's going to show up more on this side, which is fine. And I bet you, because I've chosen different colors, like some of them will show up more than others, but that's okay too. Um, okay, let's do Kitsch Flamingo next. Yay. This might be a little light, but we'll see. So I'm just dabbing on the color and doing it in a circular motion. And I'm totally fine with it being darker on the right hand side. I don't need to pull it up every time to look at it. We'll do a great reveal at the end, <laughs> but I just wanted to show you kind of how it's looking and that's really fun. I, I love tone on tone. It is my jam. Okay. We're going to try milled lavender for this next part. I don't think I grabbed a thing for that. We're going to try, oh, maybe it was this one. No, that one had oxide. We'll try this one. I need to maybe buy some more foam. Okay, so if you guys are working along with me, tell me what you're working on. Or even if you're not, tell me what's, like, what's the next thing that you're going to scrapbook or that you want to scrapbook. Guys, I'm getting hot already, so that's not a good sign. <laughs> This room conducts heat. I should have closed the vent. Okay, there we go with milled lavender. I did pull out shaded lilac. I think I'm not gonna use that and I'm going to use the dusty Concord here. I'm gonna go over lightly because it's kind of um, a darker color. So I don't wanna be too I don't want to go too crazy. So especially on the lighter parts, I think I'm going to just have like a, a lighter hand. I'm not, not pushing as much of the ink through the stencil. Does mixed media scare you guys? Ooh, December daily. I need to do mine as well. <laughs> Mini albums of your baby gender. Oh, your nephew's baby gender reveal. Well, that's so fun. Anything like baby to me is fun. I have one child, she's 15, so I haven't had baby things for quite a while, but when my sister has a baby, man, I love to scrapbook that baby. <laughs> okay. So I am doing this blue up here, but I think I wanna come in with just a little bit of the dusty Concord on top of it. Well, let's take a look and see what it looks like. You know, maybe I don't need to, to do the dusty Concord on top of it. How do we feel about this, people? I think it's okay. I'm going to leave it. So that is a really subtle way. Like, if you are a clean scrapbooker, if you like to keep things pretty clean, I think that this is a good way for you to add that kind of pretty texture of mixed media without it overwhelming your layout. And while I have this, just because I never like to waste the ink, I am just going to spritz this with some water because distress ink is reactive with water. Um, oh, a sketch-based layout is always fun. Let's see. Okay. Um, because I never want to waste the ink and I can use this to transfer any of the color. I, I was pretty light handed, but still we'll see if we get any transfer. Oh, wait, I think I sprayed the wrong side. So cool. <laughs> that is just so like me. <laughs> I totally did. <laughs> oh man, you guys, it's all good. We'll just do it again. That giant squirt bottle is casting quite a shadow. Okay, well, that wasn't super exciting. That's all right. I just like to wipe my stencils off with a baby wipe real quick. And then I'm not too fussy about it after that. Okay, 
So let me get this distress ink out of the way. This is pretty, but it's not like winning any awards, you know? All right. So let's move that, move this. Okay. This is me <laughs> airing out my table. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we have this. Let me actually cut off the branding strip. Ooh, Pink Fresh Studio always has gorgeous stuff. So I can't use my little guillotine trimmer for this, so I gotta pull out the, the big guns here. Okay, so there we go. I haven't worked on a pattern background, I don't think, for a little while. This has got to dry or it's going to curl my paper. You're working on a cocktail. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, hmm. shoot, you guys. You can't see very much of it. Maybe I just move it over so you can see more. I kind of liked the coloring on this side, though. So that makes me a little bit sad. I'm not going to lie. Um, I could do some more, but I'm kind of just feeling lazy about that. So I'm just going to move it. I, I originally thought of having it here. I don't know why I didn't think of it, of the stencil not being big enough. But we're just going to move it over. You can still see this prettiness. And you know what? Some of it might get covered up. And guess what? It's fine. It's going to be fine. Sorry, I got to take a little drink here, guys. All right. So the next thing I want to do is kind of look through some of these things that I pulled out and I'm going to see maybe I, so I want to create a title. I don't think I pulled any alphas, so I might have to just grab an alphabet, but because I have a specific title, I want to do um, my title to be, well, maybe I should just have it be Roy G. Biv and I can have the letters be in those colors. Ooh. Shell, as far as stamp sets go, I have lots of ideas, but I don't know if I'm going to continue to do stamp sets. I don't know that there's enough demand for that. I don't know. Maybe there is. You guys tell me. Um, I really like creating them. These are some of the Vicky Booten uh, stickers that go with this collection. So we're going to see what I can create with that. Let's see. So there's not like a red, red R, red, orange. We're just going to see what this looks like. Yellow. Let me grab my wax paper so that I can lay this down without being committed. Green. Okay, well this is kind of greenish. Blue. Indigo. Where's an eye? Oh, here we go. I hope there is a purple V. There isn't. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for thinking my stamp sets are awesome. Okay, that's not going to work, but I kind of like the idea of it. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to just grab an alphabet stamp real quick. Or, yeah, because I, I do, I think I do want my title. I want my title to be either Flatlay or Roy G. Biv. Hmm. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I got that wax wax paper idea from someone else. I can't remember who now, but a lot of people um, do it. So I can't take credit for it, but I love it. Okay, let's see. So I like to get my 
my title going before I really start my layout, but that doesn't mean I'm going to adhere it. So that's why I love using the wax paper. So we're gonna see what just, if I spell out flatly, what that looks like. Oh, Deb, you're so sweet. <laughs> I'm glad you caught it too. Flat. And we'll just make it very colorful. Because when you photograph things, this is more of a flat lay than that. When you photograph things like this from above, that's called a flat lay photo. If you weren't aware, you just lay everything out flat and take a picture of it. It's a great way to, to um, photograph collections. If you want to tell a story um, about a collection that you have or, or like your, a, a collection that your child has, like my daughter's rock collection. I showed this at the beginning of the video. Um, this is printed on vellum, so it's not super easy to see, but I think you can get the idea. Yeah, I'm just not in love with that. I find it hard to use um, colorful thickers, but I love them, so it's an issue for me. Um, I am just going to grab my one of my alphabet stamps, so just give me one second while I just grab it from my shelf over here. Sorry, got to grab a couple more. <laughs> Where did it go? I'm having a hard time finding the one I want. Oh, there we are. Okay. Sorry about that. So I'm thinking that I'm going to use these larger stamps. Here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to stamp in black on the background. But before, so I'm going to just keep that in mind and keep a space for it um, instead of like if I had a title of thickers, then I would move it around um, and I could have it out, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. So let's see if any of these will work. We're going to just go through the embellishments I pulled out and see if any of them work. Um, like this could work. I like, I think I want embellish in this tone on tone um, colorway as well. So I don't know about the let's play that one. Definitely not today's story itinerary details travel relax no that doesn't match okay none of these are gonna work that's okay if you pull something out and it doesn't work it's not the end of the world i i don't get in trouble for that right because this is my own thing all right let's see what we have as far as photo corners because that could be fun Because look, these have the, a variety of the colors. Kate, thank you so much. Um, I don't know if I'm going to restock the Adornit Alpha. Um, I have restocked it once, but I don't know that I'll restock it again. Um, I'm trying to remember, I, I had a few people buy it from me wholesale. And so I'm trying to remember if any of those shops still have it in stock. I think um, Freckled Fawn and also, um, oh, what's it called? The Bible Journaling Community. I'm trying to think of what it's called. I can't remember right now. Um, also, they also bought them and I don't know if they still have any. So it's possible. Okay, would it be weird if I did two of these darker blue photo corners at the top and these pink and yellow ones at the bottom because they kind of match that way. I think I might try it. Let's grab that. Illustrated Faith. Yes, that is right, Callie. You are right. So you can check um, with either of them to see if they have it per chance. I don't, again, I don't know that I will restock it. 
Okay. Let's see. Um, the awesome thing about the wax paper, again, it lets me be indecisive. I don't have to make this decision immediately, and that's okay. All right, so let's see if we how we feel about this. You are welcome, Kate. You know what? I kind of dig that. I kind of dig it. We're gonna we're gonna try for that. And also, I know that I will find some words in here that I can add at the end, like create or something like that. So, um. I'll come back to that in a minute. And also the, this um, little camera icon will be perfect because it's, I want to talk about me kind of taking photos of the, these rainbow borders. So that will be perfect. So let's see. The other thing that I pulled out was that out that package of Allie Edwards stuff. Storyline chapters. Yes. The photo corners. Um, Heidi has them in lots of her collections. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if I mentioned it. I have, um, that I got, I started working full time last year and I'm actually working for American Crafts. And so, um, I do know that Heidi's new collection that's coming out, it also has photo corners. So she's big on the photo corners and I'm here for it. Okay. I think that I can definitely work in maybe some of these. I don't think that one will work, but maybe yellow. I'm just going to pull out things according to colors and we'll see. Um, I don't think the little people will work. These are teeny tiny little white words. I don't think those will work either. I've got some little heart stickers. Let's see. These are some die cuts. Let's see if any of them match my colors. Uh, no, no. These are more soft colors than bright, so I kind of don't expect, uh, that doesn't work for this. The heart might be able to work. I don't know if I'll use a speech bubble at the bottom of the page. I definitely could ink the veneer. You are correct. And I may do that, but I'm thinking, I'm also thinking about the words, right? Because, um, I want it to make sense with my story. Okay, let's see if any of these icons work. These are, um, I think, travel themed, but some of them could still work, like the little heart could maybe work. This little globe is really cute, but I don't think it'll work for this. Yeah, those are travel themed, so paint pens are great on veneer too. Yes, you are correct. Um, I could, let's see. Maybe that. I'm sure this is just so thrilling for you all to see me <laughs> look through all of these bits and pieces. Uh, no, no. It could maybe work up there. See, some of the colors don't match right here, but they kind of do match right here. So that could be an interesting way to kind of tie things in. Oh, whoops. Going backwards. Mm, that could maybe work. Uh, looking at the words on these and some of these don't work. That could maybe work. Let's see. Those are check marks. I don't think I want to use those. I don't know that I want black. Although this one has all different colors on it. It's kind of fun. I, I do like a pop of black, but I think I'll bring that in at the end. So. No, no, no. Okay, I just think I just maybe picked the wrong things, but I have the right to go back to my stash and find something else that works better, right? It's okay. Um, the in-house designers as far as like the graphic designers? Is that what you mean, Kelly? Or do you mean like... Clarify. <laughs> These could be cute if they if they matched. 
Uh, the graphic designers, some of them work, are working in-house, some of them are working remotely. It just, I think it depends on, they're being really flexible about what people feel comfortable with. Um, so that's been good. Um, and everyone is, they're being very safe there and that kind of thing, so. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna find what I want in here. Mm, no. <laughs> okay, guys, this is just not working out. That's okay. We're going to, it's fine. We'll just find something different. It's cool. I, I, I think I will find something different that I, that's in my stash that I need to use because I, the rest of the stuff that I have out is all new stuff. And I, that's not the point of this, right? I mean, yeah, we want to use the new stuff that we buy as well, but um, I want you to be able to use the stuff that you already have too. So I'm just going to grab a different box of embellishments from a different company. In my drawer, I have all sorts of boxes. Um, guys, name a company and I'll pull out the box for that company because I have a whole bunch. And I have for American Crafts, I have one for each of the designers as well. So tell me what companies box of embellishments I should pull out. This is my Ali Edwards box. Um, all of these boxes are uh, die cut embellishments. So it'll be die cuts that I pull out. So let me know what you, what you think. Felicity Jane. Okay. My Felicity Jane stuff, I actually, um, sorted separately and put it into a different place and I don't have it <laughs> next to me right now. I definitely have crate paper. It is giant and very full. This does not include Maggie Holmes. Um, I do have pink paisley as well. Let's see. Uh, I actually have a few pink paisley. Amy Tan, Paige Evans, pink paisley. This is pink paisley. Okay, I got to choose one, Vicky Booten. I could just choose Vicky Booten and go all Vicky on this page, couldn't I? Let's see what I have from Vicky. Let's do that. We are going to go with that suggestion just for fun. Since that other one didn't work out. So if you guys have a bunch of Vicky Boot and stuff too, that's obviously a way that you can get rid of old things and use some of your new things is to pull out the products from that company that uh, your new stuff, right? So if you have new pink fresh stuff, pull out some of your old pink fresh stuff and incorporate it into it because usually those companies um, like kind of maintain similar color threads through their collections. So. All right, we're gonna Vicky it up. Let's see what we've got in here and I'll pull out anything that I think might work. I also have this as well that I haven't put in here yet. So let's take a look. I mean, I can definitely pull out things that match it, right? I don't know that I love this moth icon. Just moths kind of creep me out. That could be kind of cute. No green. Ooh, a pencil could be cute. I don't need more pink, I don't think. That matches up there. We've got yellow down here. I don't know about that, but maybe. No, no. Yeah, Betsy, I, I don't know. The moths just, like, they're pretty, but, like, could they maybe not make them furry? Because that creeps me out. <laughs> no offense to the designers. I just don't love the moths. Creeps me out a little bit. All right. Maybe that. No. Let's see. Find me where the wild things are. Mm, no. No, no. 
maybe I'm kind of like I kind of want I know Vicky includes lots of artsy stuff in her um collection so I kind of want that like I want like a paintbrush or a pencil and I know that there's some of that in her new collection but I would like to pull some of these older ones first so yeah not for me either Kate no 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 <laughs> actually this might be cute as a layer we'll see so I'm I'm thinking about things that I can like pop up and and things that I can tuck underneath and things that will layer together well and things that maybe just a little piece of it's going to poke out because something like this I might like think well I don't save this for a journaling thing but what you could do instead is just you know like tuck it next to a photo and it's a completely different embellishment and that's okay to use them differently that way um, it will help you use up some of the things that are in your stash and and I think it feels good this is the good stuff that could work no no one canoe too I think they did have some moth stuff too I don't know I I know that Paige has some Paige Evans has some moth stuff in her collections every once in a while as well it's just not for me to each his own right if everybody liked the same things that wouldn't be fun either so in fact, if you have something that you love that maybe isn't a popular opinion, t tell me what that is. I would love to hear that. Because <laughs> I'm trying to think of a, if there's something that I'm a fan of that's not like universally loved. But at this very second, nothing's coming to mind. Okay. So this is my like quick glance through to see, okay, what maybe might work. I'm not being too careful about it. Just looking at the color really. The peacocks in the Jen Hatfield collection are pretty cute. Actually. I agree. I, I like peacocks in general. Like I know that Maggie Holmes sometimes has some stuff. Her new collection has the cutest badger in it. I love it. It's so cute. It's not a normal thing, right? But I, I do love it. Okay, I'm going to open up this other Vicky Booten embellishment pack. This is from her Let's Wander collection. So um, not her newest, not her second newest, but three ago. Okay, so this has... I actually have two of them somehow. Oh, I love hedgehogs too, Kate. But I love this because it has the colors. So I'm going to take that. Um, ice cream. No, thank you. Sometimes I will use things that match the colors that don't necessarily match the theme if I'm just going whole hog on the color matching thing. But um, this time I really kind of do want them to coordinate with the layout you like mushrooms I don't mind mushrooms I think they're cute <laughs> I think they're cute back in the day sassafras had some good mushroom type things icons in their collections okay foxes are so cute I think Kelly so I'm down with the foxes okay I think nothing else in here is really gonna work that's okay. All right. You know, sometimes I, I wonder people, people are sometimes like, well, it takes you so long to look through things. Like, doesn't that drive you crazy that you can't just find what you want right away? Um, and a lot of people like scrapbooking within a one collection for that reason, because everything coordinates. But I think part of the, the thing that I love is the thrill of the hunt. Like, Let's find some stuff that we didn't, you know, that we can use on this. And it, and once you find something, it's like, oh, yes, I found the perfect thing, you know. It's just, it's just kind of exciting. Okay. So, like I said, I know that, that Vicky's collection, new collection has some kind of rainbowy things on it. And 
this says making the world more colorful. I like that. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start putting things down and in places because we're getting a little bit messy. Tim has some good ones too. Oh, you mean um, mushrooms? Is that what you mean? I just opened a new roll of my scrapbook.com adhesive. I like this foam. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. It's just right. The Goldilocks of, or I guess it wouldn't be the Goldilocks. It would be the, the baby bear. <laughs> it's the baby bear of adhesive rolls. Because the baby bear had the stuff that Goldilocks liked. Okay, so I could put some paper scraps behind my photo too but since I want to tuck a, a bunch of embellishments I'm not going to do that I'm just gonna just gonna adhere the photo directly down although I do love adding um, layers behind my photo quite often the hummingbird moths the ones that we were just looking through Denise you like those Is that what you mean okay let's see so I'm going to put this so that maybe you won't care about this, but this is, these are things I pay attention to. I'm paying attention to the fact that this photo, it, it ends like in the same place on this square that it ends on this square. So like it's taking up maybe one fifth of the square. I like that it's centered that way. So I'm looking at that. And I want there to be, I don't want it to be directly in line with this line either. I want there to be a little, a little space there. Okay, hope, hope that made sense. So we're gonna start, let's see, layering things in. I should have left a little bit more space um, so I could tuck things further, but I can cut things down, so it's not a big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and put my photo corners on actually because I liked that and it's different okay let's see here's the pink and yellow Where did the other one go? <laughs> Messes already. Okay, is anyone playing along? Are you guys making something too? Is this something that you've ever done? This grab and go kind of thing where you just get a bunch of, of products and then go to town? It's a good exercise. Okay, maybe this can go here and I can put my title on it. Or do I want to? stamp my title on the background oh boy I still think I want to stamp my title on the background so maybe what I'll do is I'll embellish mostly on this side and then this side can remain like kind of uncluttered so I like that idea sorry I need another drink oh I agree about watching videos being calming okay Let's see. So this has some red in it, but I think it can still work. I kind of like, I always like to overlap some of the embellishments with the photo, um, just because that's a look that I enjoy. So. I'm just gonna start gluing things down. This is gonna be one of those Pick it and stick it because I'm going to grab it and go. Oh, you're making an explosion box. I made a whole bunch of explosion boxes for HSN. And they are really actually surprisingly easy to make. Okay, let's put just a little bit of adhesive on this part so that it lays even with the photo. So this is a picture of um, a bunch of 
resin beads that I made and I took them over to my sister's house to make earrings and um, my daughter and my nephews put them in rainbow order. <laughs> I loved it. So I want to talk about how I love things in rainbow order and also how I like taking photos of objects like a flat lay photo. So, okay, let's see. I like that this says things are about to get really good. I don't know why I just like that sentiment in regards, or this is the good stuff. I could put this here, but see, this feels a little bit long to me and I don't want to cover up the photo. So I think I'm gonna have to rule that one out. Although I could put this and just cut it. Oh, thank you so much, Kate. I am obsessed with resin. <laughs> I love it so much. I do it quite often. I don't very often post about it, um, but I should. Okay, we're gonna put that there. I'm not gonna get like too, I'm gonna kind of mirror what, what's going on here. I know I need to fill this in because this is leaving a weird little space here. So I'm gonna put some more things in here, right? Okay. Hope I answered your question about what the photo is. It could be kind of confusing if you can't see it that well. All right. Glue this down. So I'm going to overlap things because when you overlap things, it makes them feel connected. That's why I so often overlap things on my photos. Now, I know some people don't like overlapping things on their photos because they're worried about um, their photos staying safe. And you totally don't have to put things on top of your photos. You can um, just layer underneath and that's that totally works too. All right, let's see. Do kind of like this. Let's just go ahead and put this down. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. We're doing good here and I'm grateful. Uh, I think, hmm, maybe I will layer this down here because then it mirrors this right here kind of. And I like how it goes orange and kind of yellowy. I don't know, I might rip this up, but we're just gonna pick it and stick it and we're gonna see what happens because I don't wanna spend too much time making decisions, right? I already do spend too much time making decisions. Let's be clear about that. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I wanna use this as yellow or as pink. It doesn't stand out against this because it's too much the same color. And it doesn't stand out on this either, really. So, I mean, I could layer it on here. I don't know. I'm going to put this to the side. We'll think about it. I need some purple. Am I right? I have some more yellow stuff. Oh, yeah, I definitely need that. Maybe that will go somewhere over there. But I need some purple for sure. So I got to find some stuff. Checklist won't really work for this. I could use this kind of pinky purple butterfly. Tips for using super thick embellishments. Are you thinking of, thinking of anything specific, Kate? Because some things like chipboard, I will peel off the layers so it's not quite as thick. Um, other things I simply just don't use in a scrapbook. I don't know. Some things are just for me, not meant for a scrapbook and they're meant more for adding to a gift or, um, maybe putting in a mini album or something like that, where it's not going to be so in your face, I guess, and, and bulking up your album. Does that make sense? Flare buttons. I don't use a lot of flare anymore. I remember when flare was all the rage. Um, and that's kind of, kind of gone now, isn't it? 
think I could do my journaling on this, guys. That'll be good. I do want to go all the way to the edges, so I think I'll go all the way to the top and bottom. Let's put this pencil up. Acrylic words don't bother me. The thickness of, of acrylic words don't bother me. Although I did make some acrylic things myself. Like I had them um, cut when I did my, let's see, Ready Sketch Go Volume 5 class. I had the option of adding a physical kit on there. And the, the acrylic pieces that I did in that were actually kind of, they were really a lot thinner. And I liked that. The embellished paper clips, I usually honestly rip the paper clip off and just use the top part of the embellishment, or I will use it in an, like a mini album, like a December daily type thing. The embellished paper clips are super cute, but they are, they are tricky for me to use. Okay. I don't know about this flower yet. We're thinking about it. Maybe this flower. I want to repeat repeat embellishments, right? So even if I don't have the exact same embellishment, I've repeated it multiple times. So I've got three flower embellishments. I think that's important. I need some more hearts, maybe. I've got some notebook paper going on. I'll get some circles going on. Uh, repetition is another thing that helps things feel cohesive. Yeah, the, the huge enamel dots are very hard for me to use, Betsy. Um, oh, whoever's joining totally late, if you're on Facebook, which you are, I cannot see your name. So <laughs> tell me who you are. I am happy that you're here. At least I hope I'm happy you're here, unless you're a creepy guy coming into this, but I, you shouldn't be. So <laughs> I'm sure you're a wonderful person and I'm excited about you. Um, I'm pretty sarcastic, so FYI. I hope I don't ever offend anyone. If I do, you just call me out because I will apologize immediately. Okay, let's see. Let's do a little bit of this circle. Larger die cuts can be hard to use, Betsy. Um, but what I found, and, and Vicki Booten does have a lot of larger die cuts. What I found is that um, large die cuts work really great for layering behind things or layering on top of, they're not great as a finishing touch, right? That they are very hard to use as a finishing touch, which is what I think I'm used to, and maybe you are too, using embell or die cuts as kind of like how you embellish your layout, not the foundation. And so if you, if you add them in at the beginning, kind of more with your foundational pieces, I think they might be a little bit easier to use. It it can be hard though, for sure. Yeah, I don't think I like the idea of a speech bubble at the bottom. It just doesn't work for me. I do kind of like this one. But I don't like that it's going off the page because that's going to lead your eye that way. I would prefer it to be coming into the page. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> right? Um, I don't think I'm going to use those, sadly. I don't think I'm going to use that either. Or that. So we're not going to use any of the Ally Edwards things I pulled out, which is fine, right? Okay, so what I want to look at now is maybe putting this third circle somewhere. I, I, I really wish that I did have a circle in that purple color. And maybe I wasn't paying attention when I looked through before. Because maybe there were some purple things. I don't know if you, do you guys remember? <laughs> Let's see what we've got purple on here. Good friends doesn't really work. I do have a little tiny heart. Snapshots of our life kind of works, but I think it's too big. Oh, hi, Cody. <laughs> Smaller puffy hearts in tons of colors. That would be incredible. I love little puffy hearts. You know what? Let me tell you this, Betsy. Um, let me show you a couple things, actually. One, these aren't puffy, but Doodlebug does these little shaped sprinkles that are little tiny hearts, and they are adorable, and I love them so much. Um, also, 
um, in one of Jen Hadfield's recent collections, or maybe it was another Pebbles, Live Life Happy, there is a set of rainbow puffy hearts that are small and they are adorable. Um, so you could check for those as well. I'm trying to see if I have any other little puffy hearts. These were a hip kit um, thing, which actually these might work really well on here. So I'm going to pull these out. I have two sheets of them because I begged when I was on the design team, I begged <laughs> to buy some more and um, I was able to get some. So I was excited about that. Okay, I thought I had the puffy hearts, but I guess I don't. Bella Boulevard did used to have puffy hearts, um, but they weren't tiny. But I have all the colors of them. So these, and I love them. They're great. And you find these interesting colors like this that aren't everywhere. And they have stars too. So I have all the colors of this. Um, anyway. If you're looking for puffy hearts, those aren't available anymore, but I thought I would show you to, I don't know, make you jealous, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay. I'm looking for purple still. Like I said, we didn't find anything on here. I'm going to go back one more time to this and just do a quick flip through to see if I find anything purple but I don't remember there being anything. So we'll see. Kate, what do you love? All of the little puffy hearts and stars. I love them. Okay, there really isn't anything purple, weird. All right, so I'm just gonna go on a little search. I don't have most of my embellishments I don't, I don't have them sorted by color. So um, I'm just going to have to think about which collections I can recall that have purple in them. I know that um, Paige Evans has some purple in her collections. Um, I'm looking, I kind of really do want a die cut, I think. This is just, I have like a pile of stuff that I'm kind of eager to use on my desk and um so I'm just kind of looking through that. That is another good way to get things that are new used up. Keep them on your desk and then you'll like remember to go to them first, kind of. I sprinkle hearts on things quite often. Okay, I know Chamel has purple in her collections sometimes. So let's look in my little Chamel box real quick and see if there's anything we can add. Because I know that there's going to be be some purple. Don't know if it'll be an icon that will work. Oh, you're right. Pink Fresh does have some purple, and I know I have Pink Fresh Studio somewhere. So if I don't find what I need in here, maybe I'll go there. See, there's a building. I don't think I'm, that's not going to work for this. Darn it. There's probably, I think that there is a pigeon that's purple also that won't work. There's another purple building. There's a purplish hello. I don't think that will work. Another building. I feel like this is dark and it doesn't quite fit the feel. I'm looking for the mood and feel of this as well. Indigo Hills is a good collection. I should go and grab it. I have some of it. Clouds would be cute. So this is what I was talking about, kind of the thrill of the hunt. You can, maybe I'll tuck this in here just to use it because um, it's the right colors. I'll have to cut it down a little bit. I like the thrill of the hunt. It is fun to me. I enjoy it. Okay, I think I have some Indigo Hills in here. If not, well, it might be somewhere else. Uh, I don't feel like that really fits the feel. I hope you guys aren't just dying watching me look through my die cuts. I find it very intriguing to look through other people's scrapbook stuff. <laughs> my friend Marta, I don't think she's here on to, here tonight. Unless if you are Marta, say something. <laughs> but sometimes I, when I'm at her house scrapbooking, um, 
I just like to look through her things because it's just fun to look through other people's stuff. Like, not in a general way. I'm not a creeper, but just like their scrapbook stuff. It's just fun to look through. Okay. Um, let me grab my pink fresh. I have some embellishments organized by collections. So let me grab my pink fresh collection here. I think I have it just right here on my desk that I just have to get up real quick to see if I can find it. Let's see. Okay, this isn't the one you were talking about, but this does have purple in it. It's noteworthy. <laughs> yes, this is the real scrapbooking. That's what you're gonna get with a live video. You're gonna get the real deal. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. Totally love that too. Watching other people, how they organize stuff. Okay, you shine, I don't think really works. I could probably pull in this heart maybe. So I'll keep that out. Oops, that fell out of the deck, I think. Um, don't think any of those are gonna work. Uh, no. Ooh, I love this little purple couch so much. I've been wanting to use it for a while, but it doesn't really go with this, right? Simple little things I like, but I don't love the green. Living my best life, I do kind of like. This doesn't have that deeper purple though. This really more matches with this color of purple, which is fine and I need it. I'm gonna put this off to the side for a sec. You can see my desk is getting messy already. Okay, let's see. If there's anything in here I might wanna use. I don't think so. Okay, so, you know, I can always stamp. I wanna stamp some things as well. Uh, definitely gonna do that, but um, with, with that stamp set I showed you at the beginning, but um, I'm gonna wait until I find the rest of my embellishments for right here. So, um, sorry, I'm gonna grab one more collection over here. I had to get up off my desk for that one. So let me just find it. Oh, not that one. Sorry guys. I know I have my pink fresh. Oh, here's another pink fresh collection. I'm just gonna see if I think I have two more and I'll just grab them both. Uh, not that one. Okay. All right. Oh boy. Okay, the other one's right here. Okay. I think. We've got some options here. That doesn't have a purple. Oh, okay. This one has a darker purple. So <laughs> we got options. Now this was supposed to be grab and go, but sometimes, you know, it just doesn't work out. That's okay. I'm going to look here first for the darker purple. Thanks for, uh, <laughs> Saying it's fine, Kate. Okay. Um, don't think there's anything there. Some of these might be kind of cute to add, but I wish that there was also that purpley blue. That's not gonna work. I do like this flower, but it's not the same vibe as these at all. So I don't think it's gonna work. Oh boy. Look, these work. Perfect colors, front and back. <laughs> but there's nothing for me to do with it. Let's see. I really thought I hit the jackpot. I think I didn't hit the jackpot. Darn it. That's okay. Because I have... <laughs> Let's stay home. 
this has more of that pinky purple but it also has blue so i'm hoping i can find maybe something blue that i could add these cute little bows are adorable i could add a bow we have here hmm not feeling it pajamas all day indoorsy type <laughs> i am definitely indoorsy type okay these little circles are cute is there one of these that would work these are all kind of really about home i think this might not be right either Sometimes the little things are the big things. I kind of like that for this. There's lots of little words on here too that might be good to tuck in later. So I'll keep this out. But I like sometimes the, the little things are the big things. I'm gonna keep that out. Okay, I have one more collection from Pink Fetch that I can look through. I have amassed these over my years of um, being on the hip kit design team i i collected a bunch of this stuff from them so um i really like these kind of chipboard circles they're really really cute and they're matte finish i like that um not not working for me you guys this is going to be the worst video of all time and ASMR or not or misophonia. <laughs> okay. Um, I do like this F for favorite. I don't know if it's still in here. Oh, it is. That could be cute. Maybe. This is cute too, but if I want to stick to the colors. Every lovely thing. I like the idea of that. Okay. I still didn't find my deep purple that I wanted. So that's kind of bugging me. <laughs> and I'm just trying to think where else I could get that. I don't know where else has that purple. I don't think it's in here. Definitely not. The struggle is real. It's not in there. Pink Paisley. It might be in Pink Paisley. But that's not like a purpley purple, so no. Best video. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that, but you know, I'm here. It's happening. Okay, I'm having a struggle getting this out of the door. I'm so sorry for the noises. Let's see, there is some purple in here. I can see it. These are some One Canoe 2 and some American Craft stuff that I got at Joanne. And I, I don't know if it was exclusive to Joanne or what. Maybe you'll recognize some of it. Yeah, I can definitely stamp something. And I have a lot of washi tape. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Look, I was holding out for that. That's a good color. <laughs> oh, that's a good color too. Then I could repeat the tab. We'll see. Okay, let's see. I think that is going to work for me. There's also a pink one. We'll see if I use it. Um, if not, I can just tuck this in too. There's the pinky purple in here and the darker purple. So that is, was a happy find. And guess what? Did I forget I had these? Kind of. Yeah, I kind of did. So this was good for me to look through. All right. A llama. Okay. Yeah. Llamas are one thing that I have had a hard time getting on board with. But 
I do have, I did have like a funny story with llamas that I did a layout about once. I think it was in a live Facebook live video that I did a year or two ago or something. So you might remember it, but I did you try to use a llama or two on that layout. Okay. Sorry. I'm going to look through this just really quickly because I can tell it has that dark bluey purpley kind of shade. And I don't know if it will work, but I just have to check. These are from Fancy Pants. This is my Fancy Pants um, little thing, and I don't think it's going to work. All right. Okay, I think I found enough for what I need. So let's just go ahead with this. Lots of stuff here. My chair is kind of squeaky, so sorry about that. Kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, the llama I wasn't going to use. I was just going to cut it off and use the top of this. So if you were wondering. <laughs> okay, I think. I don't know. I want it to stick out a little farther than that. So maybe I'll put this. Maybe I could somehow do that. I don't know. We're going to cut this and we're going to see what we can do. I'm going to need to cover that up though. That would drive me crazy. Maybe this just goes right here. I think it does. And I think we have to staple it. Okay. Let's see if I can find my stapler. Okay. Did it. Yay. Okay, so for the purple, I think I can layer this behind and it will kind of go over both. So I'm going to cut this in half. And then this will kind of fill in this space to the right of that, which was bothering me. And do I do this underneath it or on top of it? Let's see. I think underneath, but I got to cut it down a little bit more. So I don't see the llama face. Llama face. Name the movie. <laughs> hey, tell me what you guys are watching on TV. Like, what's a good show I should watch? Give me some ideas. Okay, I like that. I like using frames, not for frames. I like using them for layers. I mean, I do sometimes use them or frames, but I like using them even more as layers. Anybody with me on that one? Okay, so I've got some spaces to fill in here, right? You see these empty spaces. This feels all very close and clustered. This feels a little bit far apart, so I either need to add some stuff that's not so clustered up here or add some more stuff in here, and I think I want to do a little of both. And guess what? By doing that, I am covering up most of this. Guess what? It's fine. I tried to watch Dairy Girls and I couldn't get into it. Paw Patrol. <laughs> I'm in for Paw Patrol. <laughs> That's funny. Um, my nephews love Paw Patrol. Not so much me, though. Me and Malia watch The Bachelor, which has been intriguing. Um, let's see, what other shows have I watched lately that I really liked? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you, I guess. Okay. So did you, I want to show you something. I was going to layer this here, but then this gets cut off and this kind of blends into that right there. See how that color just kind of blends right there. But if I move it down just a little bit so that that purple is there, then it has more of an impact and I like it a lot more. And now it's stuck here in this weird position. I have watched Pen15. That is hilarious. <laughs> um, all creatures great and small, I have not. 
Oh my goodness, why am I struggling so much with this? I need like some tweezers. <laughs> it's gonna get lost. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. My goodness, you guys, I'm having a struggle. I do want to put something over that little black part that, that is the key, just because it's unsightly to me. So I will. Oh, hi, Cody. <laughs> I am trying this for the first time, streaming on YouTube and, oh, I think I kind of like that, on YouTube and on um, Facebook, because I know that some of my YouTube followers do not have Facebook. So I just, it's just more inclusive, right? It's more available to everyone on whatever they're doing. Okay, so there's that. I have this cute little tab. Maybe I wanna do another cute little tab somewhere. I don't know. I think what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna pop it up and I'm gonna put it over here. Firefly Lane, I have not watched that, but I've seen it. I mean, like in my suggested to watch stuff. Superstore is awesome. I love Superstore, Kate. Historic is not super, a super love of mine. Um, I don't know why. It just isn't. I really like, like, things that mess with your mind. <laughs> I just started watching, um, what is it called? It's on Apple Plus. Oh, I just totally lost the name. Servant. That show is crazy. And I like it. <laughs> um, but I'm not, I'm, I've only watched like three episodes. So I don't know. We'll see about it. I also really liked You, um, which is on Netflix. Okay, so... I feel like I'm getting close to where it's almost time to just doing the fill in pieces. Kind of want to add this still. I like having a mixture of icons, which is what's all here so far and words. So now for me is, is a time to maybe add in some words. Denise. I just don't think I can do Game of Thrones. I just can't. <laughs> uh, turn? What is that? Oh, that's your historic one that you were saying. Oh, and glad you found me on YouTube. You know what? I love watching on, on YouTube because I can put it on my TV. And that's just like the best to me. It's so nice to just have it on my TV while I'm laying in bed or, you know, doing whatever. All right. I'm gonna put this one down. Let's put this one here. So you'll notice too, I'm doing, I said a mixture of icons and words. Some are flat on the page and some are raised. I, that kind of variety just, um, just gives it a little bit more life. Orphan Black. Never heard of that. Maybe I have heard of that. But I don't know. Um, I also watched, what did me and my husband watch? We watched it fairly quickly. And it was another one of those that kind of like messes with your mind a little bit. Oh, what? there's a show about um some girls crashing on an island and they have to figure out kind of how to survive and what's going on i can't remember what it's called at this moment but i really liked that and there's another season coming okay let's see i kind of do want to add yeah i always watch something happy before i go to sleep <laughs> always because I cannot deal with the scary 
right before I go to sleep. So I usually watch The Office because it's comforting and familiar to me. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the date on this and then I'll put it on. So I'll just stamp the date in black. I have this little um, roller date stamp that's mini. Where did it go? It's smaller. Look how much smaller. This is a regular one. And then this is my mini one that I got on Amazon and it's the best. Um, if you guys like want to find it, you can go. I, don't, I think it's linked in my Instagram profile, but I have an Amazon shop, Crafty Gem Scout. It's not a shop, but it's just like stuff I recommend. And it's listed on my favorite scrapbook things. But um, I love this little roller stamp because it's smaller and it fits in some of the spaces that other stuff does not. Okay. I'm thinking that this was February 20. I'm going to look at my calendar real quick. It might have been in March. I heard Ted Lasso is really, really good. I haven't watched it yet. I think this was like March 3rd. You know what? Sometimes the date, the exact date, doesn't matter that much. Like looking back, does it matter that it was exactly March 3rd? No, but it does matter that it was in 2021 towards the beginning of the year. And so March 3rd, yep, yeah, works for me. All right. So there's that. So now I can staple this and I'm going to tuck it underneath the flower and underneath the photo just a little bit. You know what? I'm going to glue it and then I'll staple it just because I want it to stay in place. So again, with the repetition, got another tab. These are all of the things that help a lot of disparate elements come together. Okay, so there we've got our date. Now I just need some words and some filler in here. So I am going to go back to these and find some of the smaller pieces that I can add in. Um, and I don't want any of the pieces pointing this way because I want it to point into the layout. That's why I turned the pencil this way. I do print photos from home most often. If not, I send them over to Persnickety Prints. I love Persnickety Prints. If it wasn't more convenient to print at home, I would always print there because they have great, um, great quality photos. I do like this thing that says live colorfully, even though it doesn't match anything. Maybe I can put it over here at the end. <laughs> okay, let me look at the stickers. Oh, I forgot about my cameras. I think I'll just sprinkle these through the different places. So I'll put one there. Maybe one goes here, and maybe one goes here. Hmm. We'll see. I might change them around a little bit. Okay, here's the stickers. Oh my gosh, my desk is such a mess. Um, <laughs> I like the idea of putting this as the stuff that matters. It really isn't, but I like that. <laughs> I like that it, it, uh, it, to me, it would be kind of like a funny little thing because I'm sarcastic that way sometimes. Um, I like that too. Okay, I'm actually going to look really quickly at the Heidi Swap little pieces I pulled out at the beginning because there's lots of words on there and I want some words. So I'm looking for more things like 
this that have words that I can add and I may take my distress oxides and color them to match um, the color. So that would be good. Let's see, create would be good. Love you endlessly, life is on your side, fan the fire in your soul. Curious, I like that one. Uh, inspire is good also. Energy is good. Joy. I like that. Okay. I'm going to do joy. And I'm going to use the Kitsch Flamingo. And I'm going to color this so that it is matchy matchy. I'll just use this piece of wax paper to hold it down. Are you guys still with me? <laughs> Some of you are. Look how easy that is. I love it. If you have something in your stash, but you're not sure if it goes, try recoloring it. Sometimes I use like Copic markers or Sharpies. You can recolor things with that. I have used um, like permanent like Copic markers on these puffy stickers to color them. It's so fun. Oh, Betsy, you're always here for me. Thank you for that. <laughs> okay, so this is going to go here. Oh. That's cute. And I think I'm going to do one more down here. And then I just want to find a little something orange to go here. And then, um, then I'll stamp my title. Yeah. Let's do a smaller one. Carpe diem. I don't know if I want that. Maybe good for the soul. That's kind of simple. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so we're going to do this one and we're going to do it. We're going to do it yellow. I didn't pull out a yellow before because I only inked from here to here. So I'm going to pull out one now and I think I'm going to do mustard seed. I have lots of distress inks which I have collected over the years and um, usually like using, I think I used, dang it, one of my Distress Oxide ink blending. Okay, here we go. Um, I, I used coupons at like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and wherever to get the ones that I didn't have um, until now I kind of get them when Tim comes out with a new color. But I don't have every single color, but I have most of them. I have a lot. <laughs> I have a lot. And they make me happy, so. If it makes you happy and you use it, that's when it deserves space in your, like it deserves a place in your space, right? It's when you're not using it that it's gotta go because it's just taking up the room. Okay, I'm happy, happy, happy with that. I will, like I said, do my journaling here. So let's go ahead and stamp the title. Ugh, it's a mess, but we have, a 12 by 12 space, so it's fine, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, I just kind of want to use this. <laughs> I love that you guys are uh, finding things in common that you love <laughs> over there. Okay. I don't, this isn't standing out enough for me, so I'm just going to take it off and I'm going to add this. I'm gonna add this and I will add string, I think, to that. I thought about just covering it up, but you know what? No, this has to go over here. Yeah, we'll find something else for there. So that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and stamp the title. I think I'm gonna do flat lay and I think I wanna do it with 
my lowercase, the Cypress lowercase alpha. And I'm just going to do it in black because since it's the title, I really do want it to stand out. I don't want it to disappear into the background. So I'm just going to grab, I'm just going to stamp each letter at a time. I don't care if it's perfect, but guess what? I have a grid on the background. That's going to help me line things up more easily. And I'm just going to stamp it right here, starting on this line. So um, my favorite black ink to use when I'm stamping is Versifying. It is like the best black. Um, unless I'm doing techniques that needs a special sort of ink. This one is just really black and really um, like vibrant and my ink pad is nice and juicy. Shoot! <laughs> it's okay. We're gonna live with that. I have a baby wipe here. I'm just gonna live with that little blip. Maybe my other letters will cover it up. We'll see. A. Maybe it'll, my title will be Flat Lay Roy G. Biv. <laughs> it's not like the most um, beautiful title, but that's okay. It's what I'm feeling, and it's my scrapbook. Dang it, I did it again. You guys, be careful. My favorite cardstock for cut files, Betsy, is um, like the American Crafts textured cardstock. I know you don't always want to use textured cardstock. So I know that people have a hard time cutting basil cardstock in um, a silhouette, but I found that if you do it for, like if you're doing the thick basil cardstocks, like the the smooth, I think it's the smoothies line, like they're smooth and heavy weight for card makers. Um, those cut really well uh, if you choose the option for cover stock and it does a double cut. So yeah, I might have to shell or, or I'll just put an embellishment over it or something. It'll be just fine. I'm not too worried about it. It does kind of bother me that this isn't going to nestle, <laughs> but that's okay. <sighs> See, this one will kind of be covered up a little bit. Okay, maybe what I'm going to do, have that stamped. Let's do maybe I do flat lay rainbow instead of Roy G. Biv. Oh, sure, Betsy. Flat lay rainbow. See, but now I've made this difficult for myself because nothing's going to nestle. And you know how I love my nestling. <laughs> Oh, no. And I also don't like how far away it is. You know what? I might... <laughs> I might change my mind. And I might do the, the uppercase alpha instead. Does anyone have any thoughts on that? I would love to hear them. I'm going to go ahead and stamp it on this. And if I don't use it, that's fine. Um, but I would love to hear your opinions because don't you always, like, I just sometimes feel like I need someone just there telling me, oh, yeah, that looks good. Or, oh, maybe try it like this. And it's just, for whatever reason, so super what you need. It's just so super helpful. I know I love Missy. <laughs> I'm actually going to Florida to visit my grandma. Very safe and whatnot. Um, but I will be close to Missy and we might meet up. 
which I hope that happens. That would be fun. But I'm not sure if it will. We'll see. <laughs> I'm not sure what the itinerary is. Uh, I did this kind of close to the edge. Guys, I got problems. Thoughts about mixing metallics. I usually go gold or silver, and if I'm being honest, I usually go gold. <laughs> but I don't have a problem mixing them. Not at all. In fact, I think if you're going to mix them, then really mix them up. Like, you can do rose gold with copper, with silver and gold. Like, do it all. I like that look, personally. But I don't do it a lot. Guys, I hate this. This is not working out for me. <laughs> I always have these grand ideas when I'm doing a live video. Like, it's going to work out. But you know what? It doesn't always. And that's okay. And maybe that's good to see too. But it doesn't make me look like a master. Which I'm not. I don't need to. That's not the point. I just... I just don't want you guys to be disappointed, that's all. But I think I, I always get the feedback, like it's it's nice to see that you mess up too. Okay, once it's on there, you don't hate it as much and maybe I would even color it. <laughs> you think that's wild, Kate? You wouldn't do that? You wouldn't mix your metallics? Maybe I'll do, do a layout mixing metallics and show you how awesome it can be. Okay, I don't actually, I don't hate this once I've stuck it on. Um, like, I'm not super thrilled with it, but if I put like a little arrow there, not that one, but it might be kind of cute. I don't know. I still want to put like a little orange something there. Is there anything that I can stick there? Ugh. Why do I have to be so darn specific? I could do life captured. I don't know if I like the color tone of this with that. Hmm. You like get stamped on the card okay good glad for that opinion maybe I will use one of these like pretty um like these gold crazy gold um arrows it's like uh iridescent gold that's what I was trying to say oh all of these go the same way darn it well, I do have these also, you guys. This just came to be the layout that uses all the things. New, mostly new, some old. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I like that one for there. Maybe it needs to be more like this. See, I don't think I like the arrow at all. So we're not going to do an arrow. I'm going to stick this down. I'm committing to it. And that's that. So there we go. So this has kind of that light purpley color. If I wanted to, I could kind of like play up just a little bit of the embellishment around the title. I could like... I want to keep this side pretty calm, so I'm not loving any of that. It's okay. We got this, guys. We got this. <laughs> the struggle is real. The struggle is real. <sighs> okay, maybe I had another camera right there. In fact, maybe I moved this one because I didn't love the way that one was looking. 
and I kind of want to color in the title. So I think what I'm going to do is I have all of my distress inks out still and I can just smush them on a piece of plastic and color my title with a water brush. So that's what I'm going to do. Just, I'm not going to use a lot of water because I don't want to like ruin it. And I'm going to add a little bit more of concentration on one side. Okay. So then we can grab a white, clean that color off, and go to a different color. Sweet orange. So I am doing it in color order. So I just counted out that'll be like the dark bluey purple, then purple, then the light pinky purple. Kind of like that. So this one will be orange. Let's put a little bit more concentration on one side just for some dimension. And then let's do the purple. So that will go here. And a little bit more darkness on one side. And let's do the dark blue. I should have kept some of the purple on there because I think that the purple helps the dark blue, but this will be good. And I'm barely using any water. I'm trying not to because this is a die cut and it doesn't have a lot of stability. It's not like a thick paper, so it's not going to do great. <laughs> oh. So after the yellow, there would be another blue. So let's just do the other one. Okay. I'm just really not trying to be perfect at all. It doesn't matter if it's even all the way filled in. That does not matter. Okay, where is milled lavender? This is quite a light color, so we'll see if this even shows up. I mean, it should, should. Okay, yeah. It is light, but. Okay, and then I just need some yellow, which where did my yellow go? Oh, I think I put it away. Yeah. Okay. So guys, I feel like these, the, the title kind of mimics like the, the black outline with the colored inside kind of mimics those flowers. So I feel like that kind of works. I'm trying to convince myself that this works because I'm still not sold on it. But it kind of does. It's it's all good. And we're going to add some more stamping, so that will help too. Okay. We have got our tile. I'm just going to keep it at flat lay. I was going to add more words, but we're not going to do that. What we are going to do is add some stamping. So I want to add some of these stamps on here. I really like this sentiment live life lovely specifically for this story. So let's try to use that. If I have my stamp blocks around here somewhere. There we go. Need just a slightly larger one. I I'm debating whether or not um, I'm trying to 
add some more black over here or if I want to do tone on tone because I like the idea of tone on tone, but I also like the idea of adding the black. I'm gonna pull this up for a minute and I'm gonna stamp this right here in black. I, I think I will just stamp in black. So, make sure it's nice and inky. So this is a mixture of like a sans serif font with my handwriting, which is fun. Okay, and then this can go back right here. I like that. Yeah, I think that really helps to tie that together. So I'll stamp again over by the purple, I think. Let's find another stamp on this set that we want to use. Um, I could do mood. I could do breathing it all in. I like that too. I think that's a little bit too big maybe. Mood could work right here at the top of the tag. I think, I think that's what I'll do. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and commit to that. I love this mood stamp, it's, I think it's just so perfect. Okay, and I think I just want just like a couple smaller things to stamp and then um, and then I will add like a sort of dimensional embellishment with some color to it and then my journaling and call it good. Um, this says not the best but maybe I'll just ink up the part that says the best. Because with stamps you can do that you don't have to ink up the whole thing. So I didn't put ink on the word not, and I only put ink on the word the best. And we're gonna stamp that right here. And then I want to also stamp something that I can kind of like sprinkle around um, just so I can get a dot of black in all the places that I need it. So I'm going to use this really small star that's on here and just put it in a few of the spaces that need something. So like I'll put one here so there's something on that side and I'll put one up here and one can go here and one here. One, two, three, four. I feel like I just need a fifth one because that's how my brain works. So we're just gonna do another one next to that one. Okay, we've got that. Perfect. Yeah, sometimes it can be hard to remember to get out the stamps, but I feel like they add so much with so little. Like you don't, all you have to have is, I mean, you, you can use your stamps over and over. All you have to have is ink and, and you can, zhuzh up a layout, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I add a black and white embellishment over here. I kind of like this flower. Maybe I put it on the bottom. I like the idea of adding something black and white. I don't like the flower. <laughs> I just changed my mind. I mean, I kind of do. Okay. What I'm gonna do is just add in a few embellishments. There are some stars on these Vicki Booten stickers too. So I'll just add in some of these too, because they have that kind of really pretty um, iridescent gold foil. And I can put that in a few places. Oh, I was gonna cut, try to cover up that black. Let's see if there's a bigger star that can cover it up. Looks like the stars are pretty much all the same size. So there's not really. Maybe I'll 
I'll try to cover that up with something else. Um, I feel like I definitely need like two of them over here. And maybe one here. Okay. And then, um, wasn't there something that had like, oh, I have the sticker book too for the Vicky Booten collection. The, the little sticker book that has a lot of pages in it. And it had lots of really good things. And of course, it's buried on my desk now. So where did it go? <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh. And I didn't end up incorporating this, but I still could. I kind of just, I don't know, it feels yellow, so I would want it towards the bottom, but then it has all the colors, so I would want it on this side, and I feel like it's just not working here. So, um, I am not sure what I did with that stinking sticker book, but I know it has something I want in it. Oh, and I didn't use these Felicity Jane little flags. Let's see if we can add a couple of those. We'll just add the things. It's fine. Oh, here it is. <gasps> see, I knew it had stuff I wanted. Okay. Um, let's see. Like these black and white ones could be really cute to like stick down here maybe. I don't know if I like them all. Hmm. I'm not sold on it, guys. I'm not sold. I don't know. You know, this has just been a crapshoot, really. <laughs> so I apologize. Sometimes I like going through um, a sticker book like this that has lots of little stickers. This is a great alternative to those large die cuts if you like to look for little things that you can dot around um, because these are all scaled much smaller. And so um, they're the perfect kind of like finishing touch. Like that might be kind of cute to add right here on some foam. It's kind of smell good <laughs> in a weird way. What is your favorite crafty smell? Do you guys have a favorite crafty smell? I super love the smell of um, the stays on ink pad. If you've smelled that. Do you have any other <laughs> smells that you like? Just curious about that. Um, oh, I wanted to mention, if you are watching on YouTube, the quality is slightly better on YouTube than it is on Facebook. Just FYI. Um, because Facebook only streams at a certain quality, I think, so. Hmm. I do really like the idea of doing a paintbrush. Crayola crayons. Oh my goodness, yes. Certain papers, for sure. Okay, that's not going to quite work. I do kind of like that little rainbow. Okay, let's keep looking through. I love a fresh, like a fresh box of pencils or, I don't know. You're right with a, about the certain kinds of papers, definitely. See, these little hearts could be cute to kind of dot around to bring in that, that black outline with the color inside it. It kind of looks a lot like what I've colored here. And so that might help tie it, tie it in. So let's try a few of those. do an orange one. 
there. Yellow. Okay, I want to just point another thing out. So I had this put right here. Maybe, you, I don't know if you'll be able to tell. There's a little space between the middle of the heart and the bottom of that orange paper. That's some trapped space and it, it makes me uncomfortable. So I'm just going to move this up so that now there's no trapped space there. And if I was being even better about it, maybe I would move it up so that it kind of covers the ed the whole edge. All right, let's see. There is purple. Oh, this can be what we can cover that key with. And then lastly, a little this color purple. All right, got that. Just looking through all the things. We have to make sure we got everything we wanted. <laughs> these are so fun. I love these. I think that this will be a great collection to scrap with. I'm going to put that there. Maybe I'm going to put that there. See, here are a bunch of little words, too. This is the stuff that matters. Yes. <laughs> You're a rainbow with a soul full of color. That's cute. Um, ooh, snapshot. I like the idea of that. Flat lace, flat lace snapshot. Maybe we just extend our title a little bit. Okay, I kind of I kind of dig it. All right, that's the end of the sticker book. So I think. are we good feels a little top heavy to me and like maybe I want just maybe one flower right here if I can find one that's right although that would make four flowers and that bothers me so <laughs> I could mm -mm. Anyone, suggestions for this little space right here? Just need a little something something. I don't know. I don't know why I just do. I don't feel like it fits with it anymore. So Vicky bootened up, which is fine. It's great. Okay. Well, yeah, I think a heart too, but heart, where is it? Maybe I could do this little rainbowy butterfly. I have one here. I could put one here and then maybe I can put another one at the top or something. I do kind of like this butterfly. Are you guys over butterflies? Someone recently said like, stop with the butterflies already. Not specifically to me, but just in general. And I wondered, are people so sick of butterflies? I still like them. I feel like they're a great embellishment to just kind of like throw around the page. They work. Oh yeah, thread. That would be something cute to add on this layout for sure. I do have these little dimensional hearts too that I could still just kind of throw in here and there. I like having things of different dimensions like some are puffy and some are shiny and some are flat and some are raised up and all of that works together. I don't think I'm going to use these though. Those aren't working for me. I just have been holding this for however long and no one said anything to me, you guys. No one. <laughs> If I put this next to this, it kind of feels like it leads to the photos, but it still feels like part of this cluster. So it still feels only like three. So I think I might do that because I kind of like it. And I'll just put a little bit of this foam tape that I've been holding on to. On one side. And... I am not going to journal with you guys on here because I don't feel like you probably need to watch me journal. But I'm just going to talk about how I love 
taking these kind of photos, like how I love like just seeing things in rainbow order, that kind of thing, because it's something that makes me insanely happy so much so that my daughter's like, if I say, oh, I love that. And she's like, of course you do. It's in rainbow order. <laughs> like, It's part of me now. So um, I think it's important to document those kinds of things. And, and as much fun as I have playing with the product, which I just did, I had a lot of fun playing around with this stuff. Um, I think it's just as important to tell a story. And that's my personal, um, like, belief. I really love that aspect of it. I think I'm going to just use some white crochet thread here and like kind of do some thick, chunky thread nests. Does that look like the butterfly is like in a nest and pooping that out or what it needs to be a little bit more messy ooh fresh patterned paper is a good smell how do we feel about this i can't decide I think I like it if I pull that thread out and I'll add it in some other places too, but it's definitely sticking. So that's good. So I'm just trying to overlap it here so that there's not any weird, awkward spaces and that it all feels connected. Okay. And then let's get another little piece. And, oh, I need to put some thread through this. I wanted to. Let's see if I ruin the mood. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm just going to tie this one in a bow. Whoops. Maybe if I can be coordinated. There we go. And I'll just leave the ends kind of long because I kind of like the way that looks. And then maybe I do another little like nestle of thread around this at the bottom. <laughs> well, I kind of think that it might need one right there, but since it's so thick, it it's like kind of a little bit more intense. So I honestly, I don't know how I feel about it, but I do think I need one more. <laughs> how do, how do the rest of you feel about it? I mean, ultimately I'm just going to do it because it's already on here, but I'm just curious. Do you guys like to do splattery things or do you prefer instead of splattering to do like scattering of embellishments or do you just have like a much cleaner style i'm just curious about what you guys are into i scrapbook in lots of different styles it's the nature of my job but and and personally for myself i really do like to try lots of different kinds of things um so i'm just interested about what you guys like figure out how I can attach this. You love butterflies. Butterflies, I think, are, they're a staple for me and I don't care if people get sick of them. I'm just using a thin foam square beneath my um, thing to get that to stay down. I think I do kind of want to add splatters and I was thinking there are some cute little 
splatters on Vicky's I didn't finish my thought <laughs> on um, this thing, chipboard, but there's only three of them. And I don't know, it's, I don't know if it's enough or if it's too much. I don't, I don't think I like it, but I do think I want to add something. And I almost do kind of want to add black or gold. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Black or gold? Or white? We could do white. I haven't done white in a while. You know what? Instead of using that, I think I'm going to use some white gouache. It's just better. Um, I think this is the back of my stamps, but I'll clean it off in a second, so it's fine. <laughs> yes, Nouveau drops are great. I have many. Um, they do take a minute to dry, but I like that you can make them as tiny as you want. It's awesome. Okay. I'm just going to thin out this gouache in the mess my desk has I want more movement I want bigger dots sometimes I'll just go like this and just like color on a dot because I want one bigger and it's going to be very light on this side but I think I'm going to just lightly sprinkle down this side as well and it's just going to be just a little little hint of something to give it some depth i don't really care too much if it gets on my photo that's fine okay guys calling it done i am going to Oh, I don't have any of those gloss sprays, but I would like to try them. I'm going to call this one good besides my journaling, which I will add right here. Um, before I go, do you guys have any questions or thoughts? Should I do these more often? Um, I think they're fun. They're a little bit easier for me because when I have a few hours, then I can just sit down and do this. And then I don't have to worry about afterwards editing. I mean, I still want to do videos like that as well, but um, this is kind of easy for me and so I would be willing to do more of these um more often than um that which might be better than just not ever posting videos right but um you guys let me know in the comments what you liked or didn't like about um me doing things this way I am open to your feedback and opinions and thoughts and thank you so much for joining me and Mel Hi, Mel. Um, anyway, thank you so much. And um, we'll do this again soon. I just want to wrap this up since this was a use it or lose it episode. Just saying, grab a few of your favorite item, new items, and grab a few of your old items, mash them up together, and see what you can come up with. Um, you're going to get some stuff used. Look at how many, I used a whole bunch of die cuts those die cuts were all things that I didn't have uh, or that I already had in my stash and, and hadn't used. So I'm, I'm glad about that. And then I was also able to use this fun new paper. So best of both worlds. Um, thank you so much for joining me and I will talk to you guys again soon. I hope I'm going to see if I can figure out how to end this. Okay. I'm so glad that you joined me. I'm so glad everyone. Bye. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Okay, end.